All right, so this is question number 27 from the Integrated Math 2 practice test, subpart 3 we're in, um, for 10 ready, I guess. Each day an investor drops deposits, drops twice as much, deposits twice as much money into the bank as she did the day before. Her initial investment is $3. Using the elements 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and x, write an exponential equation to model her daily deposit on day x. So, essentially, Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. And the first day, uh, she has three. So she doubles her investment. So three times two is six. Six times two is 12. Three times, or, sorry, 12 times two is 24. And then we want to know what it is in x. I don't need to do five. I think you get the point. So what's the deal with exponential? Um, functions. If I have a linear function which makes a line, you'll probably remember this, just in case you don't remember how to come up with an exponential function in general. This is a linear function. This represents the slope. This really represents change. And you'll notice the part that's... I'll put it in the slope as well. You say rate of change, really. But it just represents the part that changes. You'll notice it's tied to the x and the b is your y-intercept or your starting point. Exponential relationships work basically the same. Starting point, sheesh. My pen right on is being super weird again. I probably need to clean it. Um, so I have these two components. The exponential function has the same components to it. It's got a point where you start, but we call that a. And then we have a part that represents change. The only difference is when I refer to the change here, instead of being linear, which means it's multiplied by x, it's exponential. So the x comes up to be right here. So the question again is asking me, what's my starting point? So I'll just put start here. I'm going to take a little bit less time. And then for my b value, I want to know what's the change part. The starting point is a simple point of it's a constant term. It's a simple point of where everything begins. So really, um, where does she start out with before she starts um, moving forward? It appears in the initial instance where she's day one, because this is the days. Um, we haven't applied any multiplying yet. Uh, she has $3. So my A value is just 3. All I have to do now is talk about, well, how much is it changing every time? Well, based on the fact that they told me it's twice, it's times two. And then you put the exponent up there, and you're done. That's all you have to do. This is my starting point at three. The part that changes every time, or the rate of change, which is times two, goes here. And then you just put your variable up there. And that's it. So if you forget how exponentials are set up, at least you have some component now to work from uh, to get you there. It's essentially based on something that you've been using forever, which is the idea of the slope-intercept form, which organizes things in uh, component of change, component of uh, beginning, or where you start out. Exponential relationships work the same way. So there it is.